Number 39. How will an increase in temperature affect each of the following equilibria? And then how will a decrease in the volume of the reaction vessel affect each? And then we have letter A out of the bunch. So in order to make this you know, work a little smoother, the first thing I'm, is I'm, I'm just going to write down this balance equation a little bigger. So we have 2H2O gas. So we got steam going on here. And this comes to equilibrium with 2H2 gas plus O2 gas. OK. Now, when we're working with Le Chatelier's principle, basically when we're manipulating um, things that we can change, temperature, volume, concentration would be another one uh, with equilibria. That's how I know that we're dealing with Le Chatelier's principle. And when they give me a delta H value, the only thing that I really care about is where the heat is located. Is the heat either on the reactant side or the product side? That comes from whether this delta H is a positive or a negative value. Since this delta H is a positive value, right, do I care that it's 484? No, I just care that it's a positive value. That means that this is endothermic. And remember, when we did uh, delta H questions, right, in, in the chapter sometime before this, right, endothermic means that you absorb heat. In other words, an endothermic reaction will have the heat on the reactant side. So... I'm going to say plus heat, and maybe I'll just highlight it. And now since I did that, I could care less about this piece of information. I don't need it anymore. Now I'm working solely off of this. So let's get down to business now. We want to increase the temperature. So I wrote down what Le Chatelier's principle says when we increase the temp. It might be the same for what you guys do in real life. If you increase the temp, that means that it's getting hot. Sometimes it's going to be too hot, right, if the temperature rises. Me personally, if it's too hot outside, I'm not outside. I'm inside. I'm inside doing these videos. <laughs> so in that case, I will go away from the heat, right? So shift away from the heat literally you shift away from the word heat that's why i like to write the word heat on this equation so if it's too hot i'm not going towards the heat i'm going away from the heat so in this case since the heat is on the reactant side i'm going away so my shift is going to be this way i'm going to shift to the right i'm just going to say shift right and there you go that's the answer to one of the questions now, what does that really mean? If we're going this direction, these would increase and this would decrease. That's it, basically. But for this, you know, question, we just need to say, you know, shift right or shift left. Now, they wanted us to know a decrease in the volume. Now, remember, a volume is just the amount of space that something takes up. In this case, we have a reaction vessel. And Le Chatelier's principle says that if we decrease the volume, we have less space. That kind of makes sense. So if you have less space, you don't want a lot of things in that space. So you always favor the side that has the less moles of gas. So that's when we just have to find out and tally up how many moles of gas are on the reactant side and the product side. Just be careful that, you know, you're only looking at the gases. But these are all gases, so I'm going to take all three of them. There's two moles of H2O, so there's two total moles of gas on this side. And then there's two moles of H2. I don't see a number in front of the O2, that means that there's one. So two plus one is a total of, and maybe I'll put it on this side, is a total of three moles. So which side is less moles? It's this side. And when you're decreasing the volume, you shift to the less mole side. So I'm going to literally the low, lower number. So I'm going this way. Which means that I'm just going to shift to the left. And if that's the case, ooh, I don't like that. Let's keep it blue. And if that's the case, if I'm going this way, I'm going to increase this amount and decrease this amount. There you go. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.